Hey everybody, so I'm back and I did receive a lot of dreams here and there and lately these last few days I've received visions as well that I wanted to share with you guys. It definitely pertains to the rapture and um, everything is starting to make sense now. So I'm going to get into that. I actually had a dream and this was this was about a month ago, and the Lord wants me to keep on trying. He doesn't want me to stop, and that's really what this dream was about, but it had a very big significance to it because it was, like, one part of it, and then, like, the other part definitely had to do with his coming, um, but as in the rapture sense. And um, it started off... It really started off with, I, there was this book. I don't want to say really book either because it was more like, not a whiteboard, but it was like a blackboard kind of thing where you could write with shock. And, but like for some reason it wasn't shock either. So, but it was that kind of thing. And I knew there was this man with me and, um, I just felt really comfortable with him too. So like I just knew he like was like belonged with me. So but um but I didn't know who it was, but I just knew he was like with me. So we were looking at this like we were looking at this blackboard, right? And all of a sudden like <laughs> I was speaking and it started to come like I it started like I saw writing starting to appear just but really really faint so then I wanted to write and I wanted then because it was um because first it was white even though it was like a blackboard like it was white and then I wanted to use a black marker right even though it was a blackboard and then it like switched and it actually then as soon as I wanted to write with the black marker, then the white or the blackboard, because of how it looked like, even though it was white, it changed then into an actual real like blackboard, as in like the color black. And then so when I saw that, then I wanted to get a white pencil <laughs> and I wanted to write with white. And it just like, it didn't show up. Nothing was working. Okay, so nothing, um, like the writing like was not it. <laughs> to get like to show what this what was hidden then I realized though with the talking that something did happen and then I then I started like talking and then it, like the more I did I said and I said this in Latin too I said and nomine patre and like even though I don't speak Latin you guys <laughs> I just but I knew what I was saying so I was speaking and it started to show up and, and then me and this guy that was with me were like oh <gasps> it's actually something's happening, right? Like, this this message. It, and I knew it was the secret message that had to be shown. So I uh, I was starting to speak, and, like, it started to show in white. So it was in white writing, because then now it was, like, switched to the black color blackboard. And so then he tried. He tried, but for some reason it wasn't, it wasn't coming strong enough for it to stay with him. Like he couldn't, he just couldn't get it as how it just, he couldn't get it even though he tried, like he couldn't get the message to fully be shown. Like he had, it had to be me to get it, to show and to stay completely. So like I got him like, I got him to, like, speak um, because, like, I was basically, like, repeating, um, like, he was repeating what I was basically already saying because I wanted, we wanted to see, like, okay, like, if I can speak and it starts showing up, like, if he speaks, like, it's, right? So, but with him, for some reason, like, he tried and it would, okay? So, it would a little bit, but not strong enough. It wasn't strong enough for it to be full blown to be able to read what the message is on this whole like board. 
So when I realized, when we were realizing it, um, that it wasn't going to happen, like, with his, with his mouth, with his speaking, that I had to take over, and that's when I went full blown, and, and then I really, I was like, in nomine patre, es fili, es fili, tu sante. like, I, I was really speaking Latin, you guys. I don't know what happened, but, like, that's what it was. And the more I said it, the more I said, in nomine patre, like, it's, the more I said it, then all of a sudden, the secret message, like, it went full blown, it came. It came, and then it stayed. And we were just like, ah, right? <laughs> because we got it to work. Like, even though, like, I had to do the speaking, I had to do the speaking for it to come, like, we still like together or like yeah right? like it's here um which definitely has a big big meaning to it and i know it now which i will explain at the end of the dream but then um so that happened and i knew this was the secret message this was the secret message which is the rapture um but it's just so important because it is a secret message that not everybody knows and uh through the speaking, only through the speaking is where how this secret message is going to be able to be shown because it is a secret from God. So, but like I said, I'm going to go more into depth than that uh, after I'm done talking about the dream because then after that happened, um, I was all of a sudden, you guys, I was all of a sudden in my bathtub, but only my feet. So I was standing in the bathtub but only with my feet and I had like these um I had like washcloths like wrapped around my feet and um then I heard I I heard um who's gonna who's gonna take who's gonna help right like in that sense who's gonna help now so and I knew even though I was alone I knew um, I just knew there was, like, for some reason, I knew there was, like, a group there that this message was now spoken to. But I was the one that then overtook, I said, because I know, like, no one was willing to do it now. And that's when I I stood in the bathtub with with the washcloth on my feet, and then I said, I will do it. I'll try. I'll try. And then I, then I heard, okay, try. Try again. <laughs> so, and then when that happened, okay, like, so after I said, I'm going to do it, and then I heard that, okay, try. Try again. Like, try again. <laughs> try. And, like, then I was like, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Because no one else was going to do it. Like, I I basically, I have the German word for, I basically sacrificed myself to do this now. So, when I did, um, the washcloths, they fell off my feet and I went out of the bathtub. Ellie went out of the bathtub. So, I was in the water, but only my feet, and they were wrapped in the washcloths. And, like, when I said, I'm going to, I'm going to do this now, I basically, I sacrificed myself uh, in that sense. Um, but I knew it had all to do with, like, you know, try again. <laughs> so I, I just knew. <laughs> and I'm like, I was ready. I'm ready to fight you guys. So uh, no matter what happens now. So and so I went out of the bathroom and then all that happened. And then as soon as that, as soon as I was out of the bathtub, the switch seemed. And I was now in the scenario where we used to live in Florida. But, um... It was like an old house of ours, and I was basically in the backyard, and I, then I looked into the sky. So now I'm thinking, I'm always thinking, like, why, why Florida, right? Because I don't, we don't live there anymore. Um, you guys know I'm in Germany, so, and then I think this has a very big uh, meaning to it, like a warmth. I think like the warmth, which I'm gonna explain though more to you guys here after I speak about the dreams, and I think it's gonna all start make. Uh, start to make sense here now as to why the Lord keeps putting me in the setting, in the scene, and why that house in Florida is so important. Is I think it has to do with the season, like this warm season. So um, 
Anyway, I was then put back into that, and I was in the backyard, and I could see the sky, and I could see, <sighs> I could see, like, it was the shark's mouth that I showed you guys in the pictures. It was that that I saw in the sky, and it was the shark. And you guys know, I've told you guys about the shark. I had a shark dream with the ship. Remember I told you guys about that? Um, it's about, like, the beast is about to be loose, loosened up, right? Like, the shark. I saw the mouth of the shark. And I saw that after I saw the shark, I saw the witch, but as in cloud form. The witch. Like, the full-blown witch. And, um, like, I showed you guys as well with the pictures that the Lord, when I took him in the sky, like, the witch. So, <sighs> Obviously, this has a very big meaning to the Lord. I don't, I can't put together yet who the witch is, okay? Like, I can't, I don't know if this is the Antichrist, the false prophet. Um, I can't put, I can't put the two yet together, but I'm kind of thinking, like, okay, a shark is like a beast kind of thing, and, like, the witch could be, like, the false prophet. Um... So, and he put those two, right? And I saw it full blown, you guys, as if, like, I was, like, in the sky. I was really, like, in the sky, and I, like, saw it right in front of me, and it was, like, vision-like. So, um, there's definitely something about the shark, and there's definitely something about the, the like, the witch with the Lord. So, and it has big meaning. Like I said, it could represent the, the false prophet. It could, and I believe the shark could really represent, like, a beast. So, and I saw that, and when I, then they disappeared, and then I saw them together, but then this time I saw, like, a row, and I was in this row, as in, like, you know how Moses separated the waters to walk through? I was, like, in that scene, but, like, in sky, <laughs> but, like, in the sky. So, and I saw a far ahead from me, I saw a big wave. I saw a big wave, a big wave coming and i saw the lord took the shark and the witch and he put them in the wave they were on like when i look now they were on the left side and he put them into the wave from left going into the wave into the middle and they stayed in the wave and then i saw and i knew you guys i knew i knew these were i knew these were the apostles I knew there were the apostles, and I saw the apostles shooting out from left to right, making like an aisle, like coming to me, as in like, okay, I'm standing, I'm trying to like explain it, because it's kind of hard to explain, but just imagine like, Moses now split the sea, uh, split the waters, right, and you're standing at that point now when he, if, if that what happens now, because <laughs> that's what it was, it was like a split, <laughs> And far, you see your, you see your, um, goal, like, the goal point where you're supposed to go, right? The finish line. Like, all the way to the front. And I'm standing here, and I could see all the way to the front, like, this, this tidal wave that's coming. But it was from the sky. It was a cloud. <laughs> but this is the water I'm talking about. So when the Lord says he's sending a wave, he's not meaning, he's not meaning ocean wave. He's talking about, like, his wave, okay? <laughs> a uh, heaven wave, water. So because we have two different types of waters that I explained um, in the last video that now I understand all that. I did not understand that before. Now it's like, wow. <laughs> so once that's revealed, it's more things start to make sense and how how important water is to the Lord. Like, wow. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's so amazing. But I saw the tidal wave from far, from afar, and I saw that being put into the tidal wave, the, the witch and the shark into the tidal wave, and the tidal wave was just there, but then I saw the apostles' head shoot out, and they were all blue, okay? It was like water. It was just like water, but like in cloud, and but real, and they were like giants, you guys. And I just knew, like, I mean, I was just like, right? I knew it. So I was like, ah. I was like, oh my, like, I'm seeing this, right? And it's just like, 
I just knew, I just knew that that was them. Like, I didn't see, like, flesh, okay? Like, I saw them as, like, water cloud form, but they were, like, a giant. And, like, especially I saw one face. I have a feeling, I have a feeling it was Peter. <laughs> I just have this feeling, but like I said, I'm not 100% sure now on that, but I knew they were the apostles, and I just have that taste in my, I have it in, I saw it so clearly. I just saw it so clearly, that face, and it came shooting out, and the other one came right as if they were looking at each other, but like on the other side, like here's one, here's one, like one came out, the other came out. Then the next row started, and then the next one started, and they were all coming until they reached me. And then it was over, and I was just like, <laughs> I was just like not expecting that because, as you guys can see, I haven't been on here, I haven't been on for a while, and it's like the Lord, like, really? <laughs> he's like, he's like, I know the meaning of the dream. I, I have to speak. I have to speak. Um, I think he made that pretty clear with that board. Um, through my speaking, this secret message is going to be able to be shown to the others, um, be mo made known. And here's the thing, you guys. The Lord is like, it's, it's a secret. The rapture is a secret. It's a secret, you guys. And it's a secret from heaven. And that's why I always say, ask and you shall receive. And the Lord will reveal, like, once you accept Jesus Christ in your life, and he's the only God, and he's the only way to the truth of life, you cannot enter the kingdom of God if you don't have Jesus. So, he's the only way. He is the only way, you guys. He's the only way <laughs> to get into the kingdom. And then to have everlasting life and the thing is we can all be revealed these secrets of, of heaven it's your the Lord who's revealing them but they're also secrets and it's just like when he talked to the people in parables when the apostles asked him Lord why why do you speak to them in parables and like to us not? And the Lord said, like straight out said, because the secrets of heaven are made known to you and to them not. And it's, they have to find the Lord. You guys have, we have all, every single soul has to find the Lord. We have to seek. And then once we seek, we shall find. And the rapture is a great example for that because it is a secret from God. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. That can that is being made known though. You guys are all being warned, and um, it will happen. It will happen, and it's not far away. It's definitely not far away. And I, I like I said, I received another dream, and it's I honestly I think it's around spring summer. I think the Lord just He hasn't even put me in any other situation. And I think every time, everything else was more like going into like what other people were saying about everything. And then um, I think I just like finally like really accepted too about like the waiting and all these things. But I will, I will explain all that like at, at the end why I think spring and summer. I think the Lord's been showing me this this whole time, you guys. I think he's been just showing me that this whole time. And I don't think, I think I was at that stage that I didn't really understand that yet. But at the same time, I probably didn't want to accept it. <laughs> and I think we've all been there. I think we've all been there. Like, you just really want to go. We just really want to go. And I think, like, when the Lord sends something, we get so excited. <laughs> we just all, we're, like, ready to go. So, and he knows that. So, and it's not far away. It's not. And I think, I think there's just so much more. I think everything he's shown me is true. Everything he has shown me is true. The next thing that has to happen is the rapture. And I'm thinking too, before I now go into the dream, I'm thinking as well, like all the eclipses that he's shown me, I think he was preparing. 
I think first off, A, he was showing that, I mean, those were, like, there were visions, and they happened, okay? Like, those eclipses, how the visions were, they actually happened that way. Like, it happened that way. So it's like the Lord was saying, I'm sending you this, and this is, it actually happened. So just to let you know, it's true. And they were. They all happened the way they did. And I think that at the same time, I think it was also a preparation for what is to come. Um, we're going to have a total eclipse, I think, a solar eclipse, I think. If I'm not mistaken, I think around April, I'm going to have to look back into that, which could be my orange ring, which could be my orange ring, because like I said, it looked like a ring, like a full ring. Remember I told you guys that? It always looks like a full ring, and we're actually going to have a total one in around April, I think. I think around April, I'm going to look back into that, though, but it's around that time. And then with my Dove Dream, too, it's going in like that. Um, I think it's actually going to do that, too, this year. <laughs> so I'm going to look uh, deeper into that. But um, like I said, in the setting, like, you guys remember, too, the setting was, like, warm. Like, I was, when this, the Dove, when I had the Dove Dream, I was, like, I was walking into the woods with that girl from work, and it was, like, warm. It wasn't like, it was not cool. I didn't have like a big jacket on. Like it was a warm setting. It was definitely like a warmer setting. And um, I could see like the leaves and stuff like on the ground. But like at the same time, it, like it was green. It was, it was like still green. So um, again, that was that. But... Um, now I'm going to just like jump into the other dreams that I had. I also had one which had to do with my brother. And I think the Lord, before I go now further into it, I've been getting a lot of dreams lately. Just like the Lord is showing me what's happening like literally the next day in my life. And it, it happens. It literally happens. And he's done that now this whole week. <laughs> he's done this now this whole week. And it all happened. Like, he would show me a dream, and then it actually happened the next day. So, he is really, he's really, really trying with me. He's, like, really telling me, like, Roche, what I'm showing you, it's true. <laughs> the, your visions, the dreams, they're coming for me, and they're happening. So, I just want to let you know, like, it's happening. It's, it's all true. Yeah. Well, because, I mean, like, that was, like, this whole week was just really overflowing. Like, it was, I just couldn't believe, like, I saw it, he showed me, and then it happened the next day. And he did that, like, this whole week. So, yeah. <laughs> back, you guys. I'm back. So, so I had that dream now for, like, last month, the one I just told you guys about. And I, I had another one around that time period. And it actually had to do with my brother. I think the Lord is showing me um, many cases now, too, uh, from the people in my life. Um, basically, the standpoint where everybody's at with the Lord. And he's showing me a lot of them that are um, that either A, still need to be preached to, or B, um, they're just not getting it. And we're going to have, like, a basically a problem. <laughs> Um, like my brother. So, um, yeah, I'm going to just let you guys know now the dream that I had that had to do with my brother because it definitely had to do with the rapture and it had to do with him. And it actually had to do with my grandparents as well. Um, and I always, like I told you guys, I'm with you guys on the boat. I'm in the water. I'm with you guys. And, like, I have to jump back into the water to, like, get the seed, we get more seed, like, I, it's just, the Lord just keeps showing me the same thing, and I, I guess, I don't know, I might find out, I guess, when the time comes with that, what that all means, but he just keeps showing me the same thing, like, I'm with it, I'm there, and then I have to jump back to get, like, a child, or, uh, to get someone, like, it, it's just always, like, the same thing, so, and then it happened now again in this dream. I 
I was in this really big building, and I knew my brother was there with me, but it had different levels, right? It had, like, different um, stocks. And I knew I was in the higher one, and I knew my brother was still, he was somewhere in the lower ones, and I was, I was, went to together with him there to this building, but, like, when we got to the building, I was, like, way up high, I was, like, way up high, and I just, I knew he was in the building, but he just was not at the same level as me in that building, and I, um, I could see, and remember I told you guys, and I don't even know if I did, but I had a dream, a vision where I was the gate, golden gate. I'm going to say it now because I don't know if I said it in the last video, but um, I did have a vision, <laughs> big one, around that same time period, and I saw I was in clouds, actually heaven, <laughs> and the golden gate was open, and I walked in. I walked in the gate, and I to my left, I could see the temple completely, like, it's just super long, like, the Lord's temple. I was basically walking, like, in, I felt like Jerusalem, but, like, even though it was, like, on the cloud, <laughs> and it went so long, and, like, I just caught my attention, and, then, like, when I saw to the front, I could see the golden cloud. That I told you guys, I actually saw that in real life, like the golden cloud with the sparkle appear, and I saw the same cloud again appear like in front of me. It was like, huge, and it came from that, and it was coming to me. So that was that vision. Um, I don't know if I told you guys about that yet or not, uh, but I had that around the same time, and so then I think if I think like four days later, I had a dream that I'm now telling you guys about. So I was in this building with my brother. And I looked out the window because this building was full with windows. So I could see, and like I said, I was high up. And I could see them, and I knew it, okay? I knew, and it's, like I said, this dream was like about a month ago. I knew, I knew the cloud was coming. I knew it was coming now. I, I felt it deep inside, and to the point I, I even looked at it then, I was like pulled to look, because you know this gut feeling when something's going to happen, or you just know the truth, um, that's what that was, and I was pulled to look at it, and I did, and I saw the cloud coming, and I knew it was coming now, I knew there was nothing stopping it, <laughs> there was nothing stopping it, and it was going to reach the building here now. Like, I just knew it, and I was basically, like, standing there, and I was waiting for this crowd to come because there was just nothing stopping it. And then I knew, and I did this automatically, you guys. I, like, fell on my knees, and I was, like, begging the Lord. I was begging the Lord. I said, I love my, I love, I love my brother. I love my brother. I love my Lord, brother. Please, Lord, I love my brother. I was like, guys, I was like begging. I was begging and begging. I was begging. And then when the cloud came, the cloud came and I started. I was like relieved. I you know how much, ex I don't think I've ever felt much like the exhaustion I had on me. I didn't even realize. When the cloud finally came, and I was going very slowly up, and I could feel immediately when it came, all the stress, the exhaustion that I had, everything that was, all the hardship, it was gone in an instant. It, like, left me, and I felt, I felt, like, peace, and I felt so relieved, um... I can't, I can't even, like, I never even felt that feeling before, like, that, that peace, that relief, like, I didn't realize how much, ex how exhausted I was, I was really exhausted, and I didn't even realize it until the cloud came, and the rapture happened, because I knew that was a rapture, you guys, I, because I was floating up, I was floating up slowly, but it was for me to, like, feel 
what this feeling like of relief like and i and i knew and i closed even my eyes you guys when i was going up i closed my eyes and i was like finally and i felt like all the stress come off me and all like all the hardships and all this package it just like was gone and i'm like closing my eyes going up slowly and i was saying finally and i knew the rapture happened I knew the rapture happened, and then I had another dream, I think like a week, it was about like a week and a half later, again with my brother, and I was, again, like all of a sudden I was like in this village scene, and it was dark, and I was walking, I guess, in this place, but then I saw that my sister, it was like a little hill that I went to then, and I saw my sister, and it was like a group of people, but I saw my sister then talking to my brother, and she was already talking to him about the dreams and, and everything. And he was actually listening for the first time. And I'm like, oh, wow, like now, right? Like finally, like I was thinking that, like finally. <laughs> finally saying, like I was just like, yes. <laughs> so then, but as soon as I came, as soon as I came, and um, I started, I wanted to tell him about the dream. It was really bad, you guys. He, uh, he just, uh, he, it went that far into the dream that he, um, he was already calling his friends, and I know they're atheists too, and he was going, he was going to make a case against me, like, his sister, and he was, he was already, like, I was going to be punished, basically, for believing in the Lord, and he was going to be, instead of being with me, he was going to actually be against me, and it all had to do about the Lord, and I, in the dream, I told him, I said, you know what, I, and I told him, I said, Alan, I said, his name's Alan. Um, I said, um, you know, I did have a dream a few days ago because I did. Like it really was. And I said, this is what happened. I was literally begging the Lord. I was saying, I love you. I love you. And I, like with my brother now and the rapture and all that. And I, I told him that in in that dream, you guys, and he still wanted to go against me. He was building now this, um, they were going to, Basically, like, I was being pulled up with a case, and he was going to be against me for believing in the Lord. And I, then all of a sudden, the Lord took over. God took over with the speaking then, and it was really bold, you guys. And he said out of my mouth to, to my brother, I am God. I am the Lord, your God. And then the dream was over. So the Lord spoke through my mouth after like that happened, after see, like after knowing that my brother was going to go against me, as in like pretty hardcore. Basically, like it was like it, it all had to do with the Lord, you guys. But he wasn't going to side with me. Like he would, he would actually, like in that dream, he was actually going to build up a case against me because of believing in the Lord. You guys see what I'm saying? So that was that. And then that's when the Lord took over and spoke to him, but through my mouth saying, I am the Lord, your God. Like really angry, you guys. I could feel it. And he, he took over. He took over. So, uh, that was that. And then, um, Oh, I did forget about a part of the dream that I had with the building. I, I forgot to mention. So that was a different dream though now. But going back to now the one that with the rapture when I was floating up. So all that happened. And then at some point, then the dream switched a little bit. And I was then with my mom. And I was like in like this room with a big swimming pool. Again, like a swimming pool. And I could see my grandparents in there. And... um. It's a it's it's a little difficult, but uh, nobody's perfect, right? So nobody's perfect, but it was it was hard to get the Lord more into into them. So 
they say they believe, but they're not really born again. Like, you guys see what I'm saying? And once you're not really truly, like, born again, like, you can say all what you want. You can say you believe and you believe. and But if you're not truly born again in Christ, in the Spirit, like, truly, you're not really awake yet. And that's, like, basically the case. And with my with grandparents, and I... And I've done a lot of talking, you guys. I've done a lot of talking, and my mom, my mom has especially done a lot of talking. And it's just, it's like to the point, like it's still, still don't get it. But, but it's there. Like you see, what I'm saying, like it's there. The seed is definitely there. But like that breaking point, just like still hasn't happened. And that's basically the standpoint now, where, where that's at with that. And. So I would, like I said, I was in that room and I saw them in the swimming pool. I saw my opa and I saw my oma. <laughs> and they were like separated from each other, but not too far, but they were like in the same swimming pool, but they weren't actually standing next to each other in the swimming pool. And they were talking bad. And I heard them talking bad. And I had to then, like, my mom just stood there, like, she wasn't going to go back into the water, you guys. But I had to, I had to go back in the water. Like, I was, I knew the rapture happened, like, this is how, this is what I mean, like, I knew the rapture happened. And then the screen sit, switched, and I'm with, I'm like with my mom, because I know my mom going with, going to be with me, right? <laughs> and, yeah, I'm in that scene, and... I had to go back into the water, and as soon as I saw that, that they were like how they talked, I had to go back into the water, and I basically had, I mean, I was like done, and I was basically preaching then, right? Like that's not okay, right? And then so, but once I did, as soon as I like, cause like I said, my oma, she didn't stop, she didn't. As soon as I came into the water, she was done talking, like she already knew then, like what was going on, and, like, but my opa kept, like, talking, and, but until I reached him, and when I did reach him, it's, like, he started floating up in the water, but, like, I had to touch his chest, I had to touch his chest, and when I did that, and when I touched his chest, like, that's when he was, like, floating, and I kept my hand on his chest, he, he was done talking, and he was floating up the water, but with my, with my hand, I guess, like, that's what that was, and then when I realized that, when I realized they were now quiet, that's when I went back out of the water. So that that's how that dream went. Now, <laughs> now I had a recent dream, and the Lord said it's still too early, you guys. It's still too early, but I knew this was gonna be it because remember I told you guys this. I, I, this I know I told you guys because I the ship passed and it was cold. Remember that dream I said it's cold, but the ship passed. Well, uh, I believe with all my heart the Lord saying that winter has to pass. Remember I wasn't invited to the ark that was standing in the snow, but there right there after like we only had six tickets left, and I was with that guy, so. Remember that, you guys? So it's like the Lord, like, gave me a lot of confirmations that this season of the snow, this coldness, like, has to pass. Like, I I mean, I could be wrong. Like I said, I always say I could be wrong. Um, but how I'm interpreting that as is, like, it's clearly, like, passing. It's clearly passing. So, um, which you kind of, we're in February now, like, it's, it's passing. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be winter, you guys. I really don't. I think it's going to be spring, summer, because the Lord always puts me back to that. He's putting me, like, in between snow, the time period, like, after the snow, and, like, spring. So, spring, summer, though, because of flowers. And um, especially, like, when my sister said it's snowing, and then we walked past and said, the um, Baba hoofed other way on, as in, like, the father's going to call, the father's calling, um, it's about to call, and then I was in the kitchen, and the spring flowers came in the bubble. Um, there's another another confirmation on that, you know? And then I also had one where the Lord 
sent me another dream. He said, remember, remember when I said March, May, or June, and then I was standing in my hometown's playground, and I had like this, I had like this paper thing, I guess, like a notebook where I could flip the papers, and I saw so many writings. But the only thing I was around, uh, allowed to remember was the word bride, and it was circled. And again, it was like nighttime when I had that. I was like a nighttime setting, but I, the Lord said that, and I was like, oh, I was still not an acceptance. Like, you know, like, I was like, I was not an acceptance, you guys. I mean, it could be, it could be whenever now, right? It's, but it's just like the Lord, it's just, he said it again. <laughs> he said it again, and I heard it again, like March, May, or June. I heard it again. I just didn't want to, don't want to believe it for some reason. Like, I just don't want to accept it. <laughs> like, I just want to go now, right? So, um, but, I mean, I could be wrong, right? I could be wrong, but... Again, it's just what I'm constantly getting. It's just what I'm constantly getting. And this dream proves it now, too, because I, this dream that I had now, I was basically, was, I felt like I was in this building with another girl. And I know now she had someone running after her, and I knew I had someone running after me. And it felt like a kidnapping situation. Like, that's what it felt like. As in, like, we were kidnapped, and we were running away from this, these people that are trying to get us, but in this building. And I remember this guy was really trying to get me. And I was then up, and I got, I was able to, like, throw him down through many, like, buildings. like, And I saw him, like, fall down, and he hit the ground, but he didn't die. And, like, normally this person would have, you know, been, <laughs> right? Um, but that didn't happen. It was, like, a monster, you guys. And so I'm, like seeing that I'm like oh great well now he's coming up because that's what the dream went I'm like great now he's coming up like I, I'm gonna have to think now how I'm gonna escape I'm gonna have to see I'm gonna escape now from this person that's like when he has me like I just knew like if he if I'm if he's gonna get me like it's like that kidnapping situation like he might murder me or something right like that that's what that feeling was um so I saw him coming up but he was so focused on me, like, I, I somehow was able to pass him, and then I decided I have to go down now, like, because it was, like, these levels, and there was, like, wooden boards, and so he was coming back up to get me, and then, like, so I had to decide I have to go down now, like, I, ha I had to, because there was no way I was going to be able to go anywhere. If I were to go now back up in that direction, like, he would have gotten me so I had to like decide where I threw him down just now and where he's coming up I had to like we had to switch so and it happened and he was kind of like stuck in the he got himself caught um on the top part where I was just at and it gave me enough time to like actually go down so when I went down he was so caught on me, like, he was so focused on me that he didn't even realize that, like, the doors were open down there, so, I, like, when I was down there and I saw all the doors opened up for me, I was like, oh, wow, he didn't even notice that, like, here's my escape, right, all the doors are open for me, so, and that made me think of, too, the Philadelphia church, like, our doors are open for us, it's not just not me, it's, like, it's the Lord's church, like, we're all his church, we're all going to be tabernacling at the end end right like when he has all of his people that's the true tabernacle then we're going to really tabernacle but right now we're the galilean wedding for him like the rapture is that galilean wedding for him and now this is all making sense <laughs> it's like it's the first thing like it's the rapture like we're the galilean wedding <laughs> and um and that the doors are just like open for us you guys and it's just amazing like another confirmation the doors were open and I could escape and I went through the doors it wasn't just the first door but there was different doors as well so we went through the, I went through the doors and then I finally got out of the building and I'm like oh wow is this where I was in like it was like this looked like a Sportplatz here like in Germany like a little um I don't even know how to explain it in English but it's just like this little house like 
where you could normally do like sports and stuff. So that was like that. And I saw a car coming, and I knew for some reason, like, it was a place you could spend the night at, as in, like, um, I don't want to say, like, a hotel either now, but it was something like that. And all of a sudden, this car was standing there already, and I went into the car, and it was just two people, a man and his wife, and they picked us up. They must have spent a night already there, and they must have already noticed that there was something, like, not right with that place, right? And like they came on their own conclusions and they actually came to help and pick us up that way. And when I got into the car, I saw that girl there. I'm like, oh, you made it too. Like, thank the Lord. Like, you made it as well. And she's like, yeah, you made it too. And then, like, we were so happy. And I knew now this family was going to adopt us too. Um, the woman was just like driving, she didn't speak at all. But the man did, and I knew it was more about the man, so I knew it had to do with God. I just knew it had to do with the Lord, um, and I knew that was, like, that resembling, so that adopting, like, we're going to be adopted now, but, like, it's the Lord, you know what I mean? So, and um, he said, though, right, he said, because we thought we were done now, I thought we were thought we're, like, escaped now, and he said, no, it's still too early and he said it in German he said Nes is not too früh and we're like what and he's like Nes is is, is not too früh and he said it's still too early he said no it's still too early and he said it like three times you guys so um and I already knew though after that dream I already knew because I just, he just keeps on giving me that time period, spring, summer. And it's like, when when I had that dream, it was just like a big, like, it was just like a confirmation because like my sister and my mom were already going into February now too again. And I just kept telling them, I said, I said, you guys, I don't think it is. Like, I mean, I could be wrong, but it's just the Lord keeps putting me, keeps showing me that time scene, like the spring, summer, he keeps showing me flowers, uh, he just keeps showing me that, and I just really think it's that time period, and then when I had that dream, it was like the biggest confirmation, I mean, he literally said it like three times, like it's still too early, like no, it's still too early, because I asked, I literally asked too, and I know my sister did, and I know my mom did, um, but it's still too early, you guys. It's just, it, it's still too early. Um, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, right? But I just, the Lord just sent so many confirmations. Like, I'm just so, I, I've come so far now that I just, like, I accept. Like, if we have to wait now, like, a month or two, still, like, it's just what it is. Like, right? Like, I'm, I've come to so, like, big acceptance. <laughs> like, I have to accept what it is, you know, um, yeah, so that, that was that, and now here comes the visions, and I know the video is 48 minutes long, but I haven't been on here in a while, and I feel like however long the Holy Spirit needs to talk to, uh, so it will be, right, so, um, but here are the visions, and I had these a few days ago. I actually had this one after the, this dream too. So remember I showed you guys we were like at the half moon and now he showed me that moon. Ugh, this is just absolutely. Remember I showed you guys my PowerPoints with the two moons going in, the two like new moons, this, the black ball going into that crescent. Well, he showed me that now in the vision and it was so big <laughs> and I was awake. I was awake when I saw it, and I saw it so big, and I was just like, it just woke me up, like, as in, like, spiritually, okay, so I was already awake, and then it just came, and I saw the crescent, like, on the left side, and I saw that, I saw it go in, and then the, the crescent disappeared, and then that black ball was there, so, and that's exactly what I showed you guys in the PowerPoints that crescent moon with the black ball going in twice remember that and then after i saw that i saw a red flash like a fireball go pass by 
And we all found out through the PowerPoint that um, that that black ball, like that all had to do with the meteors, right? Remember, I showed you guys the PowerPoint, so like you guys can see it. And But he showed me that now. So a few months ago, the last video I made that I posted, I talked to you guys about having the vision <laughs> that now we were at like that part of the moon, right? And now it's like now he showed me the vision and now there's more of the moon it's like more gone like now we're at the crescent part so like this is how i didn't realize how um slower like how slow it actually is like you would think it like you would think each month has those moon phases right but like to the lord i mean it was a half moon and like it's growing shorter now and he's showing me now he's like here was a half moon now we're at the point where we're like at the crescent and that black ball is about to take over. Like it's like we're almost there. It's still too early because that crescent is still there, but that blackness is coming. <laughs> so I'm just letting you guys know um, I had that a few days ago. And I didn't realize that it's going in that pace. It's not going that fast from that half moon to that crescent. And I thought like you would think every month, right? But it's not. So time is definitely running out. Um, I definitely feel like that vision, because like a few months ago it was like half and like now he shows me that we're at the crescent part and that black ball like that he's been showing me that I've showed you guys in the PowerPoint, it's like, it, like time's running out. Like, we're at that point, like, we're at that point now, and that fireball. I saw the fireball after that come down. Like, I saw that flash, that red flash. So, um, that was pretty, that was really dominant. And I had one two days ago where it was dark, and I saw a big explosion in the sky. And it was, again, reddish white and it was a big explosion and it was in the sky like i know it's from the ground but like it was definitely such a big explosion it just and it was dark so i could really see the color of this explosion it was like this big flash so um like i said like those were the visions the most recent ones that i had and they definitely like i said i haven't been on here in a while and the lord like just he just doesn't like he just doesn't stop like it's it's happening you guys it's definitely happening and I was not expecting that okay so like I wasn't expecting like this vision it's just he just sent it just came it came because like it's gonna happen and the Lord said they are prophetic and it will happen I just didn't realize like now when he sends me the moon faces I just didn't realize the pace that the pace is actually like slower than what I thought because I thought every month was like that was so fast right like you would think that but I came come to learn that like it's actually like slower than what I thought with this with the moon faces when he showed me that so um exactly like those were that and uh I had another one but that was like that was like a month ago, I forgot to mention, it was about like these warships, like these warships, but I knew it had to do with like a sponsorship, and I could see them, I was in the water, and I could see them, and they were called airwaves, like here in Germany, we actually have a brand of like this gum, and it's called airwaves, and it, it looked like that, but it's funny, because the Lord used that now, as in like an airwave, <laughs> guys get it, <laughs> I just can't believe I didn't even, like, when I saw that, I even said in the dream, I'm like, wow, <laughs> wow, right? Like, the Lord actually used, like, you know, I knew they were, like, warships. I knew those, and they kind of looked like submarines, but they weren't, but that's what they looked like. And I could see one coming, and it had airwaves, and it looked like that gum. <laughs> it looked like that gum, like the name brand, and, like, that blue and that teal. Uh, to it. I wish I had it now with you guys, but if you guys type in like airwave gum and just like Germany, like it'll show up and it's the blue one, the dark blue with the teal. <laughs> it's called airwave. 
and he like showed me that chip and I'm like wow I just like thought that was so cool like <laughs> because I never even thought like that before right and I thought it come to pass the first one came and it came to pass and it did pass but as soon as it passed that's when I had to take and I was with two people on the boat and um I know them from my hometown and um, I had to take over the ship because we were all in ships and it became like a race. And I had these two with me, but like I was the one that had to maneuver the ship. So as soon as that airwave warship wash, looking ship, I guess, like passed, that's when I had to take in control and I had like the sail on the ship. And when I did, it went by so fast. You guys, it's once I did that, like, once I took it and I had to, like, steer now, I had to take over, it went so fast. I was passing through so many other ships. I can't even, like, it was just so fast. <laughs> and I could see two more airwaves. So, in total, we have three. Um, two more airwave ships I saw on the way, but they didn't pass me. So, the one passed me, and as soon as it did, like, it was didn't pass all the way, didn't make it all the way. That's when I took over and that's when we were like flying, okay? <laughs> like flying to the water. Um, and the other two airwave ships were behind me. And I just was going through so much. And then at some point, like the curve came and we had to slow down a little and we had to get off the ship. And there was like this red ball was kicking, um, which now I think is the fireball, you guys. I don't know, like I... I think something just came to me, but I keep wondering why, what's with this kick? There's always like this ball, like a kick ball, and you have to kick it. Um, but we had to get this ball now, and I knew, here's the thing, this girl that was with me on the ship, she is married to this guy that was also there. They're like my age, and they have a child together, and I didn't see the child, though. I didn't see the child, and... I was already, I was so far, I was already, like, getting getting the ball because I knew now the mission now was to get that ball. But I had to go back. I actually had to tell him, her husband, I had to tell him that he has, if he can take over now, he has to get the ball now because I have to go back because she was seeing, um, there was, like, this group of black shadows or something that were surrounding her and they were beating her up. They were seriously beating her up, and she couldn't fight against them. So I had to, I couldn't leave her there. Like, I knew we had to get the ball, like, because it was like a race, okay? It was a race. And, but I couldn't leave her like that. She needed help, and I had to stop what I was doing, and I had to go back. And I told her husband, like, you take care of the ball. I I have to go back. I cannot, I had to go back. <laughs> And as soon as I did, I got them off. Like, if they went flying, <laughs> I don't know with all the strings. <laughs> uh, but they went, I mean, I could just, like, easily get rid of them. And I got her, and then that's when I got her. I got her so fast back to where we were at the standpoint that we were all going back there now. And then at the, at the end... They were gone, but there was, like, this bin, and I got these roses. I picked out clothes with a bunch of flowers again, like, roses. Roses, just flowers, just, just like, always flowers um, that I picked out. Again, spring, summer. So, exactly. So, that was all the dreams and the visions that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, Like I said... It's still happening. We cannot lose faith. Um, the only way to be safe is through Jesus. It's through Jesus. And, it's you know, the Lord is really doing something right now, you guys. He definitely used me. He definitely used me in school these last few days. Remember I told you guys I don't stand. I had that dream where I had to stand up for the Lord because I wasn't going to follow what they were following or what they were teaching the class. Remember I had that? Well, that's, like, been happening with me this whole time that I haven't been on here. So I had to speak in school. First off, I had to speak about the Lord, and that was, I cannot tell you guys what I went through. But 
I did it. <laughs> I did it. And remember that in the dream, the, that one girl gave me her hand. Well, she also believes in the Lord. So she, she helped out a few times, but like it was mostly me having to really speak. She like, she was like a helping hand. And then, but like I was really, <laughs> and it actually happened, you guys. Like this, this scene happened. So, and um, it might happen again. I don't know. But I know it happened. And I was really speaking about the Lord because I'm going to tell you guys now. I know it's long, this video, but it's very important. Um, Maybe, and I just know the Lord is doing something because maybe a ear heard. These are kids that are in my age and maybe even the teacher herself, right? But, and this is a religion class. And she is supposed to be, Evan, uh, Evan Gaelish, I just don't know the English word now for it, but um, she's supposed to also believe in the Lord, right? And it was religion class, and she put on a video um, about being okay, that like with being gay and, and, and lesbian, and and she's showing how priests and all them they're they're saying. Basically, it's all for, for gay and lesbian rights and all these things, and I cannot stand for that. I don't judge, okay? I want everybody to know that I, I'm, not, I'm not the judge. I don't want to be the judge. Alone God, he himself is the judge. Um, but I sat there, and I could feel the Lord's anger, and I could feel the Lord's anger. I couldn't even watch that. I didn't watch it because I'm not part of that. It's from all, it's all the devil. And she is showing these kids this video all about that. And I could feel the Lord's anger. And this girl that is, she is lesbian. She is, there's this one girl, she is lesbian. She does sit next to me. Um, you know, as religion basically a preacher at this point, right? And you're just showing the wrong way, especially to the children, you know? I guess we're not children anymore. Like, I'm not. I'm a woman. But I am, like, definitely over age. But I'm just saying, like, still, like, school. Like, there's some kids in that class because we have a different system here. Like, the, the, there's one, he's not a, he's not even 18 yet. You guys see what I'm saying? And she's showing a video like that, and it's just, a, like, totally not you're not gonna find the Lord through that <laughs> you're not gonna find everlasting life through that and then it came to the point where we had to speak about our opinions and she was just waiting for mine you guys and I really I, I stayed quiet because I just knew and then at some point that my helping hand <laughs> my helping hand I just love it because she also believes in the Lord and I do too and it's like she's my helping hand and I'm hers and it's just like thank God <laughs> it's like the Lord did that it's just so amazing how the Lord works um so she started she was already saying she does not think that's right and all these things so then I jumped in and I agreed and it was as if the religion teacher was waiting for me <laughs> It was as she was waiting for me to speak because <laughs> she knows I can speak. But what happened out of that? I said so many things, and I think I'm going to save it for another video, but what everything that was spoken about. But I stood up for the Lord. She didn't, I found out that she, she didn't, she doesn't even believe in hell. <laughs> she doesn't even believe in hell. And that girl that was sitting next to me, she said, lesbian girl, she said, um, what does that mean now? Because I'm not, like, I'm not going to, you know, uh, be with the Lord. And, like, I was telling her, I said, I was already telling her, like, I was already talking to her, you go ask the Lord yourself. Like, but I'm just letting you know, like, this is what the Lord says. Like, and I'm already going there. And as soon as I said that, like, and I said, ask him for a dream, ask for a vision. Like, I really want this, you know, like, I was really trying to, for this girl to find out her for herself without, I, no judging whatsoever, like, not, like, would never, and I, you know, I don't judge, I don't, um, it has nothing to do with that, I'm just letting you guys know, like, 
if you truly are reborn in Christ, like you're not gonna be in that because that's that's lust. That's from the devil. You have to think of it as of like Sodom and Gomorrah, and you have to think about everything that the Lord said about it, and that it is an abomination to the Lord, and you're not. Um, that's living in sin, big time. It's living in sin and big time. And I, um, and if you truly are reborn again, you would convert. Like you're converting and you're going away from that. You're going away from living. You don't want to live like that anymore. You guys see what I'm saying? So um, once you're reborn again completely, like you'll understand that that's not okay. And that that's an abomination to the Lord. It's as if like if you were to make idols and you would worship to another god. Like it's, that's an abomination to the Lord. You guys see what I'm saying? So... And as soon as I and as soon as I was like talking to this girl, and all of a sudden the religion teacher is like, she already uh, said no, uh, you're not going to hell for that. And I'm just like, I, I I had to tell her. I said, you know, I had to tell her. I said, well, why do you think the Lord had to come on the earth? I mean, if there was no hell. I mean, that would have been a pretty, that would have been basically, there would have been no reason for him to have to come down and suffer like that. He has to see every single day, you guys, he has to see every single day how many people are going to hell. He had to do something about it. And people are still going to hell. <laughs> but they have a chance now. Like, you guys see what I'm saying? And it's like, she doesn't even, she didn't even believe in hell. I found out she didn't even believe in hell. And a religion teacher, like, supposed to believe in the Lord, you know, um, didn't believe in that, she didn't even believe what the Bible says, doesn't even believe what the Bible says, she couldn't believe she was talking about, like, two different creations, I didn't even understand that at first, and then I'm like, what do you mean, and she's like, talking about, well, if the Lord's talking about, he created men, but then he created the earth, like, that's two different creations, and I was just like, well, yeah, he's God, <laughs> he's God, he created everything, and I was like, okay, I'm going to save this for another video because I just knew the Lord was definitely, it was my time. I was quiet here, but I still wasn't quiet, you guys. Like, I had to speak in school. Then the second time now happened last week, and that had to do about abortion. So now I had to speak again. I had to speak about abortion not being right. And I was like, me and my helping hand, <laughs> we were the only ones that were not for abortion. All the other kids, everybody else was like okay with it, and I had to fight. I had to fight. I had to speak. For the children that don't have <laughs> no word to speak, I had to speak. I felt the Lord. So, but like I said, I'm going to say that for another video to tell you guys everything that happened to that because it's just very important. Um, like I said, I don't judge. But when I feel like the Lord is taking over, like I let him. <laughs> just, I always say, Lord, use me <laughs> to speak through my mouth because I'm his servant and I just I want to please the Lord. I, I want to be obedient. And I I always say, Lord, just use me. Just use me, just speak through my mouth, just do thy will. <laughs> oh boy, you guys, it was just, I was quiet here, but I wasn't even allowed to be quiet. You guys see what I'm saying? Like, I just couldn't believe the situation I was in in school. Like, I had to speak, and I hope, and I really feel like because the time is running out that the Lord is doing something with that. The Lord is really, I think, he's doing something with that. And I really hope that at least one soul, you know, is does listen to what I have to say when it comes down to that. Like, I feel like maybe it's not for nothing, but I have to stand up for what is right. And it always has to do about a topic that has to do with the Lord. <laughs> I always have to bring up the Lord's name. That's been happening. This this is what's been happening to me by the time period that I've been quiet here on YouTube. I had to speak in school. It's just like wow, right? <laughs> so, um, like I said, I'll get more into the topic with that with you guys in, in a different video. But I just wanted to share all the updates and that it was time 
to speak now here again and that I love all of you and I really hope uh like I said we should be waiting every single day for the Lord to come but I really 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 you guys I want all everyone just to go to God themselves go on your knees ask to the Lord pray unto the Lord for revelation for what is to come it's just once he shows you, you guys see my face, we don't have much longer. He doesn't even give up anymore. He's showing me, this whole week he's been showing me things like, for an example, he showed me that I was going to eat pizza at work and then this person that wasn't there for two days was going to be there all of a sudden again. And it, it happened. It happened. Like things like that, like things that didn't happen in a long time. I haven't ate pizza there for like two three months and like it's just you guys what i'm saying and he's just been doing that this whole week just to show me like roche how many times do i have to show you <laughs> what i'm showing you now i'm showing you things like in real life just like small things to let you know that even that's coming true <laughs> so i just really want to let you guys know about all the updates and that everybody can receive this is for everybody and it's it's a warning and that we all need to go to the Lord and that he's the only way to to eternal life and to everlasting salvation and only through him you will see that's why I always say don't even take my word Are you guys see what I'm saying go get your word alone from God because he will speak He's not dead. He's alive. Our Lord is alive. And he will show. You just have to believe. As tiny as a mustard seed. This little belief will allow you to see and be able to do much greater things than you even know. And once they're here, then you will know. All right. <laughs> Love all of you guys. Until the next time. Bye.